The following interview was conducted with Sam Moffat for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on August 4th, 2017 at the Indiana State Fair. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. Sam, could you tell me briefly what years you were at Purdue and what you studied there? Yes, I uh, was at Purdue from uh, 1976 and graduated in 1980 and was in uh, School of Agriculture and got a degree in bachelor's BS in animal science. Mm -hmm. And what have you done after graduation? Uh, yes, and kind of the reason I went to Purdue was um, was going to go home and, and farm and, and raise pigs with my uh, father family and and had a turn of events that uh, uh, led away from that and so uh, was glad I had the Purdue education to come back on and, and uh, then I uh, got involved in uh, the feed industry and and uh, actually now I'm a, a swine production manager for uh, uh, Co-Alliance and uh, so it has played right into my major. So Fantastic. And where are you from originally? Well, <laughs> originally I, I was born and raised in Iowa. Mm -hmm. So if I was at Iowa, I probably went to Iowa State, but we moved when I was uh, um, in uh, grade school and moved to uh, Indiana and uh, originally from up in uh, Whitley County, South Whitley, but currently live in Carroll County, uh, Camden. And so, uh, yeah, my background was started in Iowa, uh, come to Indiana and, uh, and then had an ag teacher at, at Whitco, um, Bill McVeigh that inspired me to uh, look to college and, and so he had a lot to do with me going to Purdue. Oh, great. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you visited Purdue? Uh, the first time probably was with uh, uh, my ag teacher, Bill McVeigh, uh, was involved in FFA and we did uh, livestock judging and came to Purdue and, and uh, was on the livestock judging team and, and came to Purdue for a contest. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that would have been high school? Uh, high school, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, that would have been my uh, junior, junior year of high school when we moved to um, Indiana. Mm -hmm. Great. Did you have a job while you were a student? Uh, actually, I worked on one of the animal science farms uh, for a semester. Uh, worked uh, in the at the swine farm um, my uh, junior, excuse me, between or my sophomore year, and then uh, got involved in meats and livestock judging, and that took most of my time. But yeah, worked at one of the, the research farms in the swine at the swine farm. Have you visited the campus recently? Yes, yes. Uh, it's been uh, this spring. Um, while I was at Purdue, I was uh, uh, came right out of high school and, and uh, rushed and pledged at uh, Farmhouse Fraternity uh, right across from the uh, Life Science uh, Building. And uh, so I was there uh, at uh, Farmhouse Fraternity for four years. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, where, where I where I stayed while I was on campus. Mm -hmm. The entire time? You the entire there? time, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, did, were there any particular places you liked to spend your time on campus? Um, actually, um, just uh, the campus and the, yeah, just keep making it more impressive, but uh, um, I actually spent a lot of time at, uh, uh, out on the, the uh, uh, Purdue Farms and then uh, the Life Science Building uh, is where I probably spent most of the time. What do you think has changed the most since you were a student? <laughs> uh, yeah, just the, uh, uh, the amount of, yeah, how campus has changed uh, a lot of, uh, new buildings and it's just exciting to see all the different areas, but, uh, yeah, the technology has changed so much that, uh, it's, it's really impressive and, and produce, uh, really, uh, state of the art and really proud of what they've done with the campus. Mm -hmm. What is still the same about Purdue? I think just the, the people, the um, professors, the, the students, uh, and it's all, that's the one thing, is just about the relationships that you make uh, when you're at college and a and, uh, time in my life that I wish I could go back and do it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have any favorite memories that stand out when you think about your years as a student? Yeah, I just uh, uh, as a, a Purdue student and then just the, the different activities that, 
you could get involved in, whether it was uh, clubs um, and just to get uh, more exposure across the campus. But then I think the sports uh, that uh, Purdue offered and, and going to uh, basketball games and football games was, was really exciting, and, and uh, that, that was a lot of fun. Is there anything about Purdue that you think isn't talked about enough? Hmm. Um, not, not that I can think of. I, I keep up and, and uh, I guess just until you go to the campus and, and experience, it's, it's, I would think it'd be hard to keep up with all of what is going on there. So uh, uh, unless you make an effort, yeah, you may miss out on some stuff, but there's, it, it's uh, really growing and, and uh, I admire how it's, it's, it's grown and, and uh, pushing forward and not being stagnant. And so they keep impressing me. Do you have any advice you would give incoming students about making the most of their experience? Yeah, l looking back, and it's always yeah, 2020 when you look backwards, and I, I wish I would have been more involved in different uh, activities, but yeah, it's just while you're there, um, yeah, don't just, uh, it, it's the education is important, but also just the relationships, and they last you the rest of your lifetime, and uh so yeah, be involved in uh, extra curricular activities or clubs that are in your area uh, that you're uh, thinking about going into, and then those relationships, and then uh, and then talk to your professors, and uh, they want to help, and uh, so I think it's really neat how they try to further you and and uh, push you to you know achieve your goals. So mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah. Do you have any last thoughts or comments or memories you'd like to share? Uh, not really. I, um, I think uh, I, was, I really uh, appreciated uh, all of what uh, Purdue uh, did for, or for me personally and, uh, and then my, has helped me in my career. And I wish all the best of luck to everyone and boiler up. <laughs> Thank you.